Hello, artists! Today we are going to continue our James Rizzy inspired silly buildings. And you can get as silly as you want with it and get super creative. We are going to be now, we need to make some build, um, some windows and some doors so that we, they look like buildings. Because we did the face last week, right, on the top. Now we have this space left in between. And if you didn't finish the spaces, or the faces or um, anything else, you can go ahead and we'll finish that before you get started. So let's take a look at our handout that we have of the windows. We have some windows and doors. Um, we're gonna add some windows and how we're gonna do that is with our lines. Now you can use your ruler again or you can just kind of freehand. But I'm gonna make some squares and I'm gonna decide which windows I want for each building. And I'm gonna do that now with my pencil just in case I make a mistake. And tall buildings have a lot of windows. Lots and lots of windows. And I can get super creative with my windows. Or I can keep them simple. tried to fit as many windows as I could. Now we're going to go back in with that Sharpie again and we're going to finish up this line drawing with the Sharpie. To it. And I want to find some bright colors, so maybe some yellows and purples and blues. And what I'm going to do is our first step is we're going to trace some of these lines um, and then we're going to paint it. So first I'm going to get my marker and I'm going to outline all of these buildings. So I'm just going to trace the outside. We're using good craftsmanship. I've noticed we need some practice with coloring completely in the lines. So I'm gonna grade you guys according to how well you fill in all your lines and not give up and take your time. We're, we're taking a lot of time on this project because this project is for an art show. So we wanna make sure that we're doing the best that we can. And I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring just the outlines of my buildings. It means I'm just tracing the outlines and making sure it's inside each building. So, like I'm making this building blue, purple, and green. Um, yeah, I want you to work on that now.
Now that I went over all of those lines, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some colors for the roof. Now remember, I'm only doing the outlines because I'm going to get paint soon. And if you don't have paint, but you have these washable markers, you can actually use these washable markers as paint. And I can show you how that's going to work. But for right now, we're just adding these colors. And they have to be washable markers for this to work. These are fortunately washable markers. Before I also move on to paint, I'm gonna get some crayons and I'm going to color in the windows and things like that before I move on because we don't wanna cover that with paint. So I'm gonna go and color in all my windows. Also color in some of the eyes, parts of the eyes, maybe the eyelids can be a color. I move on, I'm going to double check to make sure that I got all the things I wanted. Like this, see here, I missed something and I want to fill that in. I just got to color his tongue. Um, I want to make sure that I got everything in there that I possibly could do, okay, before we start painting. We also have the sky here if you wanted to add some windy lines. I'm going to add some really cool windy lines, like almost like Starry Night, to give it the idea that it's very windy. I don't know if you've never been in a, a city before, but big cities are super windy. And I'm just going to use some lines to show that. And I'm also going to show you some magic that we can do with those really cool lines. So now we're ready to start to paint. Okay, so I have my paint and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna paint without paint. So I have my cup here and if I dip my paintbrush in the water cup, I can actually grab some of this marker and use it as paint. See how it starts coming through? Now if it's a little hard, like this one's being a little tricky, what I can do is I can get a little bit of purple to help it along. And I'm just going to paint in my buildings now and I'm being super careful. I'm using good craftsmanship because I'm reminded that that's how I'm being graded right now is how well I can paint in the lines. So now I'm going to go around. I'm not going to paint too dark but I'm going to paint each of my buildings because I made them each a color so I have colors planned out already.
like to make sure that I'm double checking that everything is filled in. I think I did a pretty good job. I don't want to overdo it because I saw some of my paper starting to rip and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just checking to make sure everything's pretty good and it looks really good. I'm going to actually start just painting whatever I have left over in the sky and look what happens when I move that paint around. It starts to show up and I've noticed that that happened while I was painting, right? I noticed that the marker started to pick up. And since I'm done and I painted the sky and everything looks so good, I think these buildings will look awesome and they are so ready for an art show. I would also like to hang them up in the hallway. So I want you to make sure you're doing a really good job and taking your time on your lesson. And you know, I have to double check. I Even I need to check to see if I filled in all my spaces. So that's what you're going to do when you're done. And then it goes on the drying rack. Make sure we did put our name on the back. And um, that's it for today's lesson.